Puigdemont is going to be traveling again, and this time his destination is Geneva. Hello, and welcome to Catalan News. The deposed Catalan president will take part in an international film festival in Switzerland on Sunday. It's the second time that he officially leaves Belgium since he landed in the country last October seeking refuge from the Spanish justice. And today, the pro-independence leader was indeed quite busy, hosting a meeting with his party colleagues. The issue on the table? Deciding who the next president of Catalonia will be. On today's show, we'll also bring you the latest from the judicial field, education and culture with the theater show mixing both theater and animals. Jordi Sanchez remains the only candidate to succeed Puigdemont as president. This according to Puigdemont's Junts per Catalunya party, which held a meeting in Brussels today. The Catalan leader will leave the Belgian capital by the end of the week and travel to Geneva, the city where Ana Gabriel, another Catalan leader under investigation, is staying. Carlos Puigdemont is determined to make the independence case even more international. He's been in Brussels for four and a half months now and in January, with great expectation, he spent two days in Denmark. This Sunday he'll travel to Geneva in Switzerland, where he'll take part in a press conference and a debate on self-determination during a human rights film festival. When he landed in Copenhagen, the fear that Spain could reissue a European arrest warrant was high. It didn't happen though, and now chances that he is arrested in Switzerland following Madrid's request are scarce. Spain's attorney general said it won't request such measure until the investigated pro-independence leaders are prosecuted. In the meantime, the pressure is mounting on the pro-independence parties to nominate a new candidate for president, especially on Puigdemont's candidacy, with even its ally Esquerra urging them to take action. The Spanish justice has opposed Puigdemont and his number two, jail Jordi Sánchez, and there's no clear horizon over an investiture now. Estem uh, en temps per investir Jordi Sánchez. Hi ha marc legal que ens permet aquesta investidura. Most members of the deposed president's candidacy traveled today to Brussels to evaluate this situation with their leader, who would risk prison if he returned to Catalonia. And the result of the meeting didn't help much to know the way out of this uh, presidency stalemate. The candidacy of Puigdemont, Junts per Catalunya, was clear. They want to avoid a repetition of the Catalan election. In a press conference held here in this auditorium in Hotel Miravaux of uh, Brussels, uh, the spokesperson for Junts per Catalunya said that their candidate is still Jordi Sánchez, uh, jailed uh, in a Madrid prison. What he didn't say is how they are going to invest him. While politics seem to remain at a standstill, the judiciary continues to move forward. Five Spanish police officers appeared in court today amid protests in the southern Catalan town of San Carlos de la Rapita. They are accused of using violence to prevent voters from casting their ballots in the independence referendum last October. They are indeed the first Spanish police officers to appear in court to explain their actions on October 1st. In San Carlos de la Rapita alone, more than 80 people were injured and 60 filed complaints denouncing the events. According to government figures, more than 1,000 people were injured throughout Catalonia. More in the judicial field. If you watched our show yesterday, you learned that the European Court of Human Rights ruled that burning pictures of the Spanish king was not a crime. The decision was welcomed by a hundred people who took to the streets later in the evening in Banyolas in northern Catalonia. They set photos of the monarchy on fire. The meeting was even attended by one of the two men who were convicted by the Spanish justice and then ultimately exonerated by the international court. Also today, another person being prosecuted by the Spanish courts, rapper Valtonic, called for disobedience. He did so at a press conference organized by a platform formed to support artists who, like him, might end up in prison for their work. The local tenia power, the 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 silence, the the meu poble, the the so no oblida més que que totes les seves lluites han estat en va i això no ha estat així. Més sentí molt recolzat per aquesta gent, me sent més fort que mai. The main educational fair in Catalonia opened its doors today. Educational centers from all over the world show young people all the options available to them for five days. This year's fair is more international than ever with around 40 foreign universities. But it started not without controversy, as every year the presence of the Spanish army at the fair was not welcomed by all. Catalonia's main education fair kicked off today in Barcelona. It aims to guide and provide advice to young people by showing all of the educational options available to them. 
This year's edition stands out for the high number of international educational institutions. Around 40 foreign universities are at the fair, the majority from China. Són 29 universitats que, que busquen doncs, aquest, aquesta trobada amb alumnes i també la possibilitat de fer activitats culturals amb altres universitats i canvis professionals amb elles. China has bet heavily on this year's educational fair, but the internationalization of the fair not only comes from abroad, Catalan universities also have a more international offering than ever. Mai com ara les universitats catalanes havien estat tan cobejades per estudiants d'arreu del món. Mai com ara els nostres estudiants havien pogut fer intercanvis en universitats d'arreu del món. As in the past few editions, the attendance of the Spanish army at the fair has caused controversy. This year has been no different, with people protesting against the presence of army representatives. The military has its own stand, aiming to present the institution as a professional opportunity for young people. Neither the Barcelona City Council nor the Catalan government like the army's presence at the fair and have repeatedly shown that they would prefer to exclude the army from these kinds of events. Some 230 stands will show the educational offerings they have available for five days. Catalan universities are heavily promoting three-year degrees this year. Scientific and industrial studies are also playing a relevant role at the educational event, with many job opportunities in these fields. Visitors can find this and more at the fair until Sunday. The economic crisis forced Catalan industries to look beyond the borders of Catalonia and even Spain. Exports have gained much weight since, detrimental to the internal market. And today we learned some news confirming that this growing export tendency continues. The Association of Catalan Internationalized Companies in the industry sector announced today that the exports of such firms have increased by almost 10% last year. A report of this organization said that exports are now 57% of the total turnover of these companies, reaching 5.4 billion euros. According to the paper, the effort for innovation was key to achieve such figures. The association has an optimistic perspective for 2018, with another 10% increase expected. And now for culture, we bring you an interesting new proposal focused on animals. It premieres today in Barcelona, but will then travel through England, Brazil, the United States and Canada, and opening night here is already sold out. Animals, theater, and the touch of the circus. This one woman, one dog show kicked off in Barcelona today as its premiere before starting a world tour. Its name is Link Link Circus, starring Pan, the dog, and owner Isabella Rossellini. This miniature big top aims to give a window onto the animal world, based on facts but through comedy. Rossellini detailed that while there are many sad stories to be told, she wants her performance to bring happiness instead, and it has another less direct objective. There is the secret wish to make people fall in love with animals so that they will treat them good. But it's not a direct uh, uh, declaration. But I hope that uh, um, if you see the show, you see the complexity of animal and you're fascinated <laughs> and the respect of them. If you recognize the name Isabella Rossellini, there could be several reasons. An award-winning actress and model, She's also the daughter of Italian Eurelis director Roberto Rossellini and Swedish cinema starlet Ingrid Bergman. For her part, the multifaceted performer defines herself as an environmental artist. Her latest theater piece also follows the success of Green Porno, also focused on animals. While Ling Ling Circus is already sold out, the venue anticipates increasing audience capacity. For a truly unique experience, and before it moves on to London, Sao Paulo, New York, Los Angeles and Toronto, the show runs in Barcelona until the end of March at the Teatra Academia Theatre. And let's stay on culture and theatre at that, not all of which happens in Barcelona. This weekend it might be a good time to travel to the north of Catalonia for a stage rendition of a movie that some of you might remember fondly, The Dead Poets Society, performed in Catalan. O Capitán, el meu Capitán. O Captain, my Captain. These words, originally written by poet Walt Whitman, gained fame throughout the years for another reason, the 1989 movie starring Robin Williams. And now you can see this touching story translated into Catalan, performed in the northern town of Vic. Here you'll find elements that bring the tale even closer to reality. 
The younger actors are local students, and most adult characters are played by actual teachers from the schools participating in the project called Fem Teatra, or Let's Do Theater. And as with the original rendition, the concept of Carpe Diem, seizing the day, plays a central role. The premiere will be performed at the Atlantida Theater this Saturday. And with this, we end today's show. As you've probably noticed, the weather's been getting warmer and the trees in Barcelona are blossoming. But that's nothing compared to the field of flowers in Aitona in western Catalonia. Here, the sprawling peach tree orchards are all blooming in a vivid pink. And best of all, you can even take a hot air balloon trip to see them from above. We hope you like it, and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>